welcome to Net Support Insights. Today I am joined by Emma Darcy. Welcome, Emma. It's lovely to meet you. Good Actually, in person. <laughs> yeah, finally. I know, finally. <laughs> um, so, can you start by just introducing yourself, please? Absolutely. So, uh, my name is Emma Darcy. I'm Director of Technology for Learning at Denby High School in Luton and the Children Learning Trust. Perfect. Um, and so what is the topic that you were really passionate to talk about today? I think the thing that I really wanted to talk about today really now is, is just the importance of dovetailing your um, your digital strategy, whether you're in a school or a map, with your um, mm. sustainability and climate change strategy. Yeah. And I was reflecting on BET last year and mm. I think if I had to pick one thing that's been the biggest change for, for me, for us as a trust yeah. since last year, it's been that really new focus now on the idea of making sure that whatever we're developing digitally in our, mm. in our schools aligns with this really crucially important need to be more, more sustainable now moving yeah. forward. No, absolutely. And to me, it kind of makes total sense yes. to link those aspects yeah. together. Um, so what are some of the ways that you've been exploring of linking those? So there's been lots and lots of different things we've been doing. So one of the things is we've looked at, uh, we run a one-to-one -one device scheme mm -hmm. in a number of our schools, for example, and we've really been looking at that, how that scheme runs, the um, the life cycle of the devices, um, yeah. the, the recyclability of the component parts and everything. And we've really like um, integrated that now into our sort of sustainability strategy going forward. Mm. And we are, are now sort of really sort of describing that as a very key part of what we're doing. Um, yeah. We've also had a new scheme this year where for every Chromebook that a student buys, five trees are planted in different oh, locations fantastic. across the world. So we have a, a Chilton Learning Trust forest, which we're really excited about. Not all the trees in the same place, but in, in, in lots and lots That's of different places. Cool, and we've also, we've introduced things like a, um, sustainability leads in our schools, mm -hmm. because again, we don't have to do that until 2025, but we Still want to be ahead of the curve, so we're, yeah, we're introducing absolutely. them. Um, and we've also started looking at obviously climate change and sustainability education mm. for our children. So we've got involved in a number of initiatives this year. We have delivered the Apps for Good Climate Change programme across all the 16 of our Children Learning Trust schools. And we've also taken part in the um, design for SDGs. So we have children oh, coming down on Friday. Friday right? And oh, they're going to be exciting. in the main arena, which is really oh, scary because I had a look at that space and it's enormous. Yeah. And um, it's just going to be the most incredible experience. Oh, for those if you get time, please bring them down to the radio. I'm I sure will do. that Russell I will would do. love Definitely. to talk yes, to them. Yes, that would be, and they would um, love that as well. So I'm really glad you mentioned about the actually teaching about kind of sustainability yeah. and climate change. Because the thing I was going to ask you was like are you involving the pupils within this strategy yes very much so because um one of the things that I've, I've literally just come from the leaders at bet theater where there was a really good session going on about sustainability in there is the fact that we talk an awful lot to young people about all the challenges what their future is going to be like and obviously mm. is their future we're talking about um but quite often there's this real sense of like climate anxiety because they mm. feel then that there isn't anything that they can do to address this and obviously yeah. They are going to have the careers of the future. They are going to be the ones who can could affect the change. So things that we can do that involve, um, you know, digital digital skills, digital solutions mm. are really really important. So um, yeah. that then is making them feel that they're they're having a say, making them feel that they're involved, you know, making them feel that they're they're contributing something. And and who knows, some of the ideas they're coming up with that might just be little ideas now could yeah. be huge game changing ideas in the future. Absolutely, it kind of empowers them to be warriors yes. of the environment and sustainability, yeah, absolutely. doesn't it? Yeah. So um, I guess the other thing I really wanted to ask was, you've got lots that you've been doing within your school. Have you got any kind of next steps that you want to work towards? Yes. I mean, we've... Um some of our schools, for example, this year have done the apps good app creation in a day, um, and with a view next year that hopefully they'll they'll do the whole course because then that goes into more into more detail. Um, we certainly want to look further at our um, our digital strategy in terms of reducing further our our, our output. So, for example, um, Denby High School, where I'm based, we're a, a 1930s school. We've got a, a huge carbon footprint. Uh, oh, we're, goodness, it's yeah. going to be an ongoing challenge for us, but yeah, we're just the building alone to just reduce. <laughs> some of those um, mm. some of those costs some of those emissions um, but there are things we could do there are ways that we, we can do that so for all of our schools that's going to be a real priority over the coming the coming year um, and then really just sort of scaling up this idea of the climate change education because that's quite hard for teachers to suddenly be told or alongside everything else that you do, you're going to have to you're integrate to this. this. Mm. And we want it to be meaningful and we don't want it to be just a sort of a box ticking exercise. So again, we're we're hoping to put things in place that will, that will really embed and be really meaningful. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Emma. That sounds brilliant. No problem.